The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgenholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with, and then make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth Freedom. What Morgan and Holt knew about oh. the mass kernels I was about to say this time they aren't doing it automatically. Algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project, its fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Awesome. So hello and welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory with me, Grey Hunter, where last time we discovered that Hugo Lacerda was not actually in Peru, he was on the ship of the Maria Narcissa which is where we're going now. So our objective is to board the ship and murder him, but find out where he got uh, his weapons from and who is financing him, because that's kind of important. That's kind of a big deal, because somebody let him get to Morgan Hall. So let's have a look at our loadout. Redding, again, he's kind of like, here, take a little bit of everything, but I prefer this. The stealth loadout is much better. We will be trying also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the first episode, but we will be trying mainly to do this as a non-lethal approach because I like the idea of going through everywhere, not leaving much of a trace of where you were. It's kind of like Hitman, I guess, in that sort of sense. So I will pause the recording here because of the game not liking me having loading screens included, and I will see you guys when the mission begins. We just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Self-referential humor there, Lambert. So, for those of you who aren't aware, that was the rule in the first couple of Splinter Cell games. If you got detected three times, it was mission over, and you started again from the beginning. Now, we'll just hurry up over this way, because that fellow is going to have a friend. Come and discuss Lacerda. There he is. We'll ready our sticky shockers for later. So as you can tell from the tone of their conversation, nobody really likes Lacerda. Lacerda is kind of seen as a, 
A bit of a dick. Nobody really appreciates him. Everybody just wishes he would go away. Alright, we'll sneak up behind this guy. And... Good evening. Nice night. Shh. What's the roster? How many men aboard? Total? There is yeah. 36 of us, I think. But that's including Lacerda and a couple of mean looking mercenaries he brought with him. Where's Lacerda really? now? He was just here 20 minutes ago, complaining about his quarters. He said he wanted another room. He did, did he? <laughs> well, I can see why you people think he's a whiny little bitch. Alright, let's move on. So we want to get back to where we were, hopefully just in time to intercept the other fellow. Oh, too far. Back, Sam. Back. Close. Get him. Alright, let's get down there. I went a little bit too far forward. If uh, I hadn't moved back quick enough, he would have seen us and gone, hang on a minute, what's that? So we'll just grab him and move him over to that set of barrels over there place him behind them. Hopefully it will look like he's just taking a nap. When he should be working, but he will be alive. We'll just dump you right there. Close enough. And head down this way. Now this guy, he is a nuisance. I have had a little bit of luck with going up and punching him in the head, but he has ruined several runs already today, so I am just going to stick a shocker him. You can't sneak by him, unfortunately, so you do have to take care of him. And we'll just put him over in this area. There we go, you sit right there. Perfect. And then we'll continue on through here. I do need all of my sticky shockers for this mission, but I'm just going to improvise for like when we Lacerda use them later. His wealth, that guy has pissed me off. Some of the arms that were to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on Jump so we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Good thinking, Redding. There we go. So we have another collectible hunt, and in this case, it's these crates. So we need Good to find job, six Sam. of them. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Okay. We'll do, Redding. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. The ship isn't sinking. That looks pretty goddamn serious to me, Redding. I think you know shit. Alright, let's open this up. And sneak on through, close the door. We're on the right side, hooray. And we'll go grab this fellow. Hello, how are you? Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is that this? Is the auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. Excellent. So we'll just choke him out over here. He's in what should be darkness. I've never had his body found, so I'm just going to leave him there. And we'll go through this here vent. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. Found it. It's right below us. There is a guy working on it, and there's a second guy in the room. So we're going to have to take care of them. But shouldn't be too difficult for old Sam Fisher. So let's head on through this vent, and we'll jump out at the end here. There we go. Perfect. And jump, Sam. You gonna start that pump there or what? There you go. I don't know how 
this stupid thing works. Captain Diego says hurry up or we'll sink. Sea well, reading? We we'll sink. Faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. <laughs> So the guy fixing the pump is, you know, a little bit disgruntled. I'd be disgruntled too. But the guy up here is going to get a special surprise from Sam Fisher. So it's okay. You don't have to worry, pump man. I will get revenge for you. Come on, buddy. Come closer. You need a hug. Yes, you do. Oh. He was a little bit too quick going around that corner. We'll sneak up a little bit further. Scooch up. All right, Sam, don't miss this time. Hello. You need love and huggles. I'm an ambassador of peace. Yes, I am. All right, let's jump over here. And down we go. Hello there. You look tired. Why don't you have a nap? Alright, let's move him over to here. This is my favorite spot to leave him, because if you do it right, you can scooch him up right into the corner here. So let's just move back a little bit and dump him. Yeah, that was completely and utterly fail. <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? Alright, this time you will sit in the corner. Much better. There you go. See, you too can survive. If you just follow Sam's instructions. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda shipments. All right. Okay. We'll open this up. And we'll go on through. We'll close it because we were not born in a barn. We closed doors behind us. And let's head into this next area. Now we'll leave this door open momentarily because we are going to come back through it I'm and we need to make a quick escape. Container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I have a look around. I see it. It's right over there. All right. Good work, Touch. Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda no, was operating Sam. through a proxy. Who? Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. God damn it. Sure bankers. Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love Once I move. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. So you have to hurry there because, as you can see, there's a couple of guys coming towards it. And if you're not quick enough, you will get caught in the light, and they will see you, and they will shoot you. Have you had a look around this boat? So we almost got caught because Sam decided that he wasn't going to drop off the side of that stack of containers. He was actually more interested in hanging around. So we are very lucky there. That almost ended this run. Thank you, Sam. Because I totally didn't need any more stress. But they didn't notice a goddamn thing. So let's head over to the engine room. Now the engine room is the single hardest portion Sensors of this mission. Suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. And this is yeah. why. I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. It could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. Mm -hmm. I get the message. I'll be discreet. So yeah, no shooting in this area at all. Except for your OCP, because your OCP does not fire a projectile. So you can't use sticky shockers, you can't use airfoils, you can't use lethal rounds you can't use sticky cameras you can't use anything except your OCP that said though as long as you're lucky and the RNG doesn't fuck with you you're pretty much guaranteed to get through this we don't want to make easily. any sparks who, who, who are you I'm the fire inspector and I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off in here I am pretty worried why can't you smell the gas? But, but I didn't think it was dangerous. Imagine you You're needed to stow your to ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh the men bunk up port side. Uh, just turn left out the back of the engine room. They've got a crate full of new guns back there. Maybe some other stuff too. Uh, I'm not sure. 
Well, thank you very much. That sounds like one of the crates Redding wants us to grab. So yeah, as Grim said, the people in this particular engine room are too stupid to live, and they will shoot at you. And we need to get across that particular section that's still got light on it, so we're going to have to wait for Dipshit up there to move. He should turn around. I'm not entirely sure why he hasn't moved yet. He's supposed to go on a patrol route. I would really love it if the game could be just a little bit consistent. Just this once. Pretty please? Pretty pretty please? Alright, we might have to sneak behind him. Which could be problematic. Alright, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go behind him because he's being a dick and not moving. So we're not going to be able to use the strategy that I like to use for this particular room. We're going to have to do it the hard way. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the hard way. You're supposed to investigate that. I hate you. He's like, lol, no, not interested. Okay, well, we're alright. That wasn't what I had planned. What I had planned was, he's supposed to go on a, a patrol around this area, and then he uh, goes and does it again. So we were going to turn off that light, jump up on that engine block, jump onto the walkway, and then go up that way, but he was conspiring against us. He, uh, he was not having it. Not even slightly. I don't think the light goes far enough for us to be spotted over here. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. So a slight deviation from what I had planned, but could have gone worse. Now I need the goggles off so I can see this light because we need to shoot very precisely. Anytime you want to look in the right direction, Sam, that'd be great. Okay, there we go. Nope, you see nothing. Okay, now he goes off on his patrol route. I hate the people. <laughs> I hate these guards. They are pure evil. Alright, yes, you look at that light. Alright, Sam, stay in the darkness. And we might need to turn that off again to stop him from being an arse and seeing us. It depends which way he wants to go. Let's see where he goes. Where are you off to, good sir? If you're just going to camp here, I think you and I are going to have a bit of a disagreement about what the proper solution is going to be. Yeah, I'm not waiting for you. Tommy, what's wrong with this thing now? Go yeah, investigate right. it. That usually works. <laughs> Spoken like a true technician. I ain't got you. Alright. So that was officially the hardest part of, the, of this particular mission, and it was made even worse by the fact that these guys are asses. Now, here is where I would usually use one of my sticky shockers, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the sticky camera, and I'm going to move over here into complete darkness and shoot it right there. Okay. There is a guy coming who we're going to have to deal with. He's going to come out through that door. Usually I would use a sticky shocker to get him, but this should work just as well, and then we won't have to improvise later when it comes to sh sticky shockers. Uh, you should come straight around. Ha! 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 Gotcha. Because there's nobody else in this... God damn it, Sam. <laughs> There's nobody else in this particular section of the ship, so... No. So we shouldn't have to worry about uh, the noise that much. 
let's hide him over here. You stay right there and don't you move. I will know if you do. I will come back and inspect. The sticky camera self-destructed, I think. Unless it's still there. If it's still there, we should be able to get it back. Nope, it's self-destructed. But it was nice and quiet about it, so nobody was alerted. Nobody is any the wiser as to our presence. Which is a plus. Alright, so there's one of those crates that Redding was asking us to look after back through here, so we'll just take care of that. Good, good. And slide this door shut because we were not born in a barn. We shut all the doors behind us. Well, usually. And we'll shut that. Guards will alert if the door is left open, so you want to make sure that you're rather tidy about what you do when you go through each area. So we're coming up on the ship's office now, which Grim will tell us about in a moment. Any second now, Grim. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Now, I'm sorry if this is really, really, really bright at this particular section. But I wanted you to be able to see this. Alright, let's continue on through this way. Hey, and there's two guys in this next room. Here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That <laughs> someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. And fair enough, too. So you can actually get past this little bit without messing with either of these guys. You're supposed to look in that uh, filing cabinet over there, but you can just use your EV The transit and do that. ledgers are forged. They say no Lacerda's need to deal with container them. is full of sugar cane and coconuts from a man named Nikariakov in Malaysia. Nikariakov. I remember that name. Nikariakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Why don't I? And here's crate number three. Place okay, that tracker. Sam, judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. So that little bit of information is rather important. Because Lacerda is receiving weapons from somebody who is aware of things that can uh, that go on in the Philippines. Which is where Pandora Tomorrow was uh, was set. So somebody with knowledge about the Philippines is giving Lacerda the weapons. Intriguing. Alright, so we're going to swap to our airfoils because we're going to need them in the next section. And we're going to use our optical cable on this bit. Hey, Thomas, and our thermal vision. Have you seen Lacerda? It's no. easier to keep track of I these guys with thermals. Someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Whinge, whinge, whinge. He's got a little cash. He's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. Yes, he will. Alright, so we'll just wait a second. Okay. We'll escape out of that view, turn our thermals off, and sneak on through. Just close that door. Airfoil to the face. And then our sticky shocker, because I'm not sure whether I can get him with an airfoil at this range, and it's best to be sure. And there's enough noise over there to hide it. Despite the fact that over here there isn't, uh, over in that area there is, so there won't be anybody coming to investigate what happened. Alright, so there's another one of our crates in here. Otherwise we could just bypass this area entirely. But you actually have to place a tracker so you can't just scan it like you could in the last mission. Okay, 
We'll just grab this body. I have found that if I hide them in the freezer, which is that next room over there, they still get found. I have no idea who comes and finds them, but somebody does. So we're going to store them in a slightly different spot. We're going to go back through where we were. We're going to be coming back through this area anyway, so it pays to be tidy. And we're going to place this guy right over here. So we'll just put him there. I guess we'll open the door. Well, that's not too bad. Nobody ever comes down here. No, Sam. I want him to be on this side of the door. Just, you know, good enough. This is where I usually put them now because I don't want to be, uh, I don't want them found. So that should be okay. It's worked on all of my test playthroughs. And the previous playthroughs that I'd done before I decided to LP this game. So we'll just grab you as well. I'm sorry if this seems a little bit tedious, but I like these games where you actually have to clean up after yourself in stealth. I love stealth games that make you think, and they make you test out different ways of doing stuff. And this game is remarkably non-linear. It's got a linear plot, but most of it you can achieve your objectives any way you like, and that's one of the great things about the Splinter Cell series. You're not locked into a certain path, you've always got options. I'll just shut this door, if we can. Oh, the body's a little bit too close, or it was. The door knocked it out of the way. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's continue on. And we'll shut this door behind us. Even though we're coming back through here, I have never seen the guys in the next room patrol in here, but this game likes to be remarkably non-consistent, so I'm not going to leave any doors open that weren't already open when we went through them the first time. Like that one. I'm not going to shut that door because it was already open. They won't go, hey, what's going on? Alrighty. And let's head through here. They won't come investigate that noise, even though the door slides so very loudly. It's nice, though, that they won't come investigate. It makes it a lot easier for us. So we'll head over here to another one of our weapons crates. And tag you. Thank you kindly. Now we'll head through to the bridge. So, usually, from what I've seen, the game will predict that you'll go through the bridge first, but that's actually the harder option, in my opinion, as we go past the guy rocking out. Because you can just come up through this way, and as long as you stay here-ish on the stairs so that the captain can't see you, because he will turn and walk up to the front of the ship, to the front of the bridge. He's making course corrections. As long as you stay hidden down here, it's a lot easier to get in because you don't have to worry about the second crewman. Because there is a guy in here with him, obviously. Helmsman. So we should be safe here. Yep, he didn't look down. Now we just have to be really, really careful going around this particular corner. Because the captain has an unfortunate habit of turning and seeing you. Alright, gotcha. And we're going to get him downstairs before we start interrogating him, because I don't want to chance the helmsman turning around. He's done that before, because he's heard me grab the captain. I right, hear you have a special passenger tonight. What's that? Oh. I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks the Surtis been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very nice. Mighty nice of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Mercedes thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, oh. I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. Plot twist. So it turns out that Lacerda's thugs so are not the guys guarding the captain's him. Quarters. Where's that? Third deck, fourth side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. Intriguing. So we are already at the area where we need to be to grab Lacerda, so we'll just 
hurry up a little bit. And there is one exception to my closing all of the doors <laughs> that I'm going to take advantage of right here. Because this door, you need to have open once you grab Lacerda, because you have to kill Lacerda. And Sam does that rather loudly. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past so if you do it in here, you think it's easy to get through the, the guards will hear you. These days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I, need I love how Lacerda's guards are just so sick of his shit. They're just like, fine, do whatever you want. Just shut up and go away. Let me see. Lacerda? There you are. Now where would that fat beast? Hi. Alright, let's take him out of here before we interrogate him. Alrighty. Shh. Don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Lacerda, calm come him on. down. Give us a drink. Uh, uh, see. I'm looking for some rum. What, you need a hand? No. No, I, I'll find it. Good job. Please let me go. <laughs> I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? You really don't. Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death, and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! Yes, you do. I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. Oh, uh, I don't um believe momento. you. You'd better let me go, or they'll come looking. You wish. Huh. Yeah, I'm they're sorry. not gonna come looking for it's you, mate. It's not my fault. Really? I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Yes, it is, and now you die. Good job, Fisher. So yeah, Sam's a bit no loud about the whole killing the Lizard is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. Thank you very much, Lambert. Now we could go back and shut that door, but you don't have to. You can just sneak on through here. The guards won't come looking for Lacerda. They really are sick of his shit. So you don't have to worry about it. You can just progress on through this way. Now we will need our airfoil rounds for the last obstacle in our way. Well, he's not the last obstacle in our way. There's a few more people that we need to take out. But he is the last one in this area of the ship. So let's open this door, progress on through, and head for the other side. Speed up a little bit. Nobody will come investigate, so we're okay. Open that, and close the door. Alright. Now this is the way that the game would kind of expect you, I guess. It would. It's very non-linear, as I said, but there are some paths that seem obvious to take, and this is one of them. So you will have tagged the crate down there, and then we'll head up the gantries, and this is the bridge. But it's very difficult to get in here without the captain or the other guy noticing you. So, you want to try and be careful here. So, let's move up to this wall. And grab out our rifle. Because we have a friend that we need to take out who's just over here. Unless he's already gone by. No, he has not. If he's already up on that gantry, you can sometimes leave him alone, because he won't notice you. But he will patrol down in this area as well, so you need to take him out when he comes by. And the airfoil round is the easiest way to do that, because the sticky camera does make noise. There he is. You stay right there for a second. Right there. Boop. Let's go get him. We'll just stay in the shadows as much as we can. There's 
There's nothing going on, guys. Nothing at all. Alright, let's get... Nothing going wrong at all. Nope. Nope. Just a guy taking a nap. He's just sleeping. He'll be fine. Alright, let's sneak up through this way. We're almost there. One last crate to go. And then we can go to extraction. You could, if you wanted to, just go straight for extraction. There is no requirement to get this last crate, but I like to, so simply for the sake of completion. Sam. You do not need to go that way, Sammy. Alright, sticky camera. Hello, gentlemen. And sticky shocker. Now, there is another guy down there with them. He should be progressing along any moment now. You could, I suppose, go down and grab him. But I find that this is easier, mainly because the sticky shocker just has to touch him. So as long as you aim okay, you'll be alright. Now, where is he? Ah, there he is. He appears to have heard something going on. And you know what? I'm actually going to switch to the sticky camera. Because that way you don't actually have to aim to get him. You can just leave him. I will move him into darkness, though, just to be safe. Alright, and jump. Sam, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Those two are in perfect darkness already, so we'll just progress onward. We'll grab him before we tag the last crate, because he's further away. And we'll dump him by the crate. There we go. Just as planned. And you stay right there. Don't you move now. Tag that. That's the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. Was. I I kind of killed him, Redding. I'm not sure if you were paying attention to the line, but I murdered him. So it's possible to get to extraction without dealing with any of those guys, but if you want completion, you need to. And let's just take a moment to savor the ma the majestic the majestic night and sea as we escape. Sam, escape! Press the any key. Can do. So we completed all of our primary objectives, our secondaries, op opportunity, and bonus objectives. We interrogated Lacerda, we placed tracking devices on weapons crates, we found out who he's dealing with, and we found out where everything came from. And Lacerda is dead. How did we do? 100%. The cargo ship was done with a 100% completion rate, because we are just that good. So next time with me, Grey Hunter, we will be continuing into what I find to be my favorite mission of the entire game, the Panamanian Bank. So next time with me, Grey Hunter, we will do that. Toodaloo.